Okay. Look, I wore my I wore my Ravenclaw shirt for the day. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that lovely Ravenclaw <laughs> blue you've got. <laughs> Wait, Ravenclaws are blue? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm screwed. Hey, brother, brother, and welcome everyone to the world's smartest Ravenclaw quiz. I was wondering what you would go with. Yeah, after I, I felt the pressure was on after the fluffiest Hufflepuff. The fluffiest Huffle, Hufflepuff. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But as you can see, I am in fact wearing my my. Ravenclaw Reds. <laughs> Your Ravenclaw Reds out. <laughs> Prepare for trouble. <laughs> I'm so screwed. Oh no, where's Ravenclaw from? In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Isabel is on the other end of the camera. She's waving, but you can't see her, but we can. She's going to be reading us today's 10 extremely smart Ravenclaw questions, plus an additional five also smart questions from our quiz masters over on Patreon. As usual, Ben and I will have to answer all the questions completely from memory, but if we can't and we really need the multiple choice, Isabel can give them to us. And even though you normally can't see her, I think we should bring her on because she's like dressed for the occasion and it's like, you know, I feel like she should get to show it off. Nice. Are we gonna show Isabel? Yeah. I'll it's gonna, yeah. It's gonna happen? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. How are you enjoying Whoa. the world's least comfortable couch ever? Am I, oh, um, it's it's not too bad actually. I don't I don't think it's too bad. You okay. would never want to take a nap on it. That's true. Let me assure you, because it used to be in me and Jay's shared apartment, and it was the worst. Yeah, it your face great. would just get stuck but right. But it was to better it. than the love sacks, <laughs> <laughs> which we also had yeah. as the alternative form of seating. Anyway, that's Isabel. All right, oh, get out of here. I'm falling. Oh jeez. <laughs> I always I like to think that the. That like whoever's in the edit bay for these, I like to think just has like a, a very good dialed in sense of what what is worth including and what is not worth including. I agree. Yeah, you know, you just put it out there. Ethan's a great editor. <clears throat> Ethan is a great editor. He's a great judge of content. He knows what's up. I bet he put that in. All right, question one. What is the first name of the founder of Ravenclaw House? I know this one. Me too, I know this one. Okay, don't get it wrong. Okay, right, yeah, don't yeah, don't, there's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Helena Rowena. You got it. Yay! Yay. Look, at Look at us. What there a, we what go. A, what a what grand are the odds start. that all of their names were alliterative? What are the odds you know? of that? Do you think that it was on purpose? Uh, I mean, absolutely, I do. It wasn't a coincidence. I mean, I would love to, I would love to have been there when they were, when they were like hanging out. It's like Godric and Salazar were there. They were like, it's so well, our names both are like GGSS. And then they like meet Rowena and they're like, no way. Yeah, right. And then and like, like Helga walks in and they're like, yeah, like, hold on, your name is Helga. What's your last name? Yeah. And like, hey, they're all they're like, like, they're like, wait for it. Oh, oh, let's go! And then they have like that stepbrother's like, do we just become best friends? That's exactly what happened. Yes, yeah. yes. This is a house of learned doctors. So if anybody ever gives us the ability to drive that car, that's what we're gonna do. That's what's happening. <laughs> Question two. What type of gems fill the Ravenclaw house points hourglass? Hopefully this Blue is- Blue diamonds. Right, yeah. Hopefully <laughs> this is not one of those- I know. Those situations. Like, this is just like, Right? There's a very obvious blue gem. Yes. Right? And it is in fact, of course, the one and only Ruby's Sapphires. Sapphires. That is correct. Yeah, booyah. Although All if right. they had- Yellow diamonds, come on, Helga. Never mind. Okay. I was gonna make a joke that was, it feels too dicey. Okay. Maybe I'll do it anyway. Oh. If they named, well. <laughs> <laughs> If we call these rubies and these are blue. Oh, I see, yeah. We call them bluebies. Right, yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone add a laugh track for me, please. <laughs> I, I was at war with myself. I could tell. Yeah. <laughs> you seem to be at war with yourself. You know what's gonna be a good joke when Ben like will not say it at first. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's the pin from this episode. All right, question three, our first quiz master question. This question was submitted by Travis Peacock and Dola and voted on by patrons. In Harry's fourth year, the Sorting Hat song mentioned where each Hogwarts founder was from. Where was Ravenclaw from? Hopefully. Hopefully. I know, I'm like, It doesn't yeah. rhyme. 
Does it? I think so. Well, we'll just see. Okay. I'll give you any hints. Three, two, one. Glenn? Glenn. Correct. Yay! It rhymes with Fen. But not Claw. No, no, but it's Slytherin from Fen, Ravenclaw from Glenn. Ah. Oh. So those words rhyme. I see. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Ravenclaw from Raven. Glenn. <laughs> from Ra- from Maw, Wild Maw. <laughs> wild Maw. 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 Moor. Moor. Wild Moors. Wild Maw. Swamp. Oh, look at right? Like, more. In- <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> Gryffindors from the Wild Moors. I feel like we're about to see, like, sparks and steam and springs come out of our heads. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We got it right. We got it right. We're there. Three for three. You're doing great, guys. Thanks. Question four. It is a well-known fact that to enter the Ravenclaw common room, you must answer a riddle. So to proceed with this quiz, you must answer this riddle. The man who built it doesn't want it. The man who bought it doesn't need it. And the man who needs it doesn't know it. Oh, oh my no. God. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. This I'm is so be- interesting. <laughs> I know, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. all right, read it again, read, <laughs> read it again. again. Okay, the man who built it doesn't want it. The man who bought it doesn't need it, and the man who needs it doesn't know it. God, okay. Built it, no want. (laughs) Need it, no, no. We had so much fun coming up with this. (laughs) You came up with it? Well, the three of us, it was a tag team effort. Wow. This is a homebrew riddle? No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> just like up with the idea to do this. Oh, this, this oh. Is a, it's a very right no. This is a very cool inclusion. This is. Okay, okay. This okay. is a real thinker. Okay. Too bad all those springs and steam already went out of your I head. I know. Jeez, we burned all our energy on Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> you already knew what it was too. <laughs> uh, I didn't know there was going to be a riddle. I know. Uh, okay. A Tom Riddle, ooh. Oh. oh. Yay. This is like, it's like one of those things that's like, as soon as you know what it is, it's gonna be so annoying. I know, and I'm like, I know, I just, I want. The silence is loud. I know, it is like, I, I feel like I can hear myself thinking. So the jury's out, you guys are not true Ravenclaws. <laughs> I guess not. Oh, do you have an answer? I do. Oh no. <laughs> I keep going to the, <laughs> what could you need but not know? They're like, what are things you even build? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm like, what do you build? And what do you build? A, a bridge? I know. I'm like, I'm like a boat. And I'm like, I feel like if you needed a boat, you'd be pretty. You'd know. I can't. I can't tell. What would you build? How? And not want? How literally? I'm taking all of the words. I know. I'm, I feel like I'm trying to think of like an object when it's more of like a concept or something. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll oh a hint. Object. It's oh, object. it is. Okay. It's not Okay, so it's not like a creature. It's not like spiders or something. It's not spiders. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Okay. I would love to meet the person who doesn't know he needs spiders. <laughs> and the person who built them. <laughs> built it, doesn't want it. Get out of here. <laughs> you know, this is a mistake. My bad. Why does it have to be spiders? Yeah. Well, I had an answer, and I actually thought the answer had some merit, but based on what you guys said, it can't be right. <laughs> I mean, if it's not boat or spiders. <laughs> what could it be? <laughs> uh, it's not a boat or spiders. <laughs> Come on. What spiders are you building? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Wild Wild West? No. Oh, Great movie. Great built spider. Great built spider. That's true. What do we have? We have intelligence. We have a sense of purpose. We have the element of surprise. So, what does Loveless have? He has an eighty-foot tarantula. This is like it's like if if we just skipped this, it's gonna come to me in the middle of the night. No. Oh no! Yeah, it's it's like <clears throat> if I could go mow my lawn right now, I'd probably be great. Right. Uh, I guess that's a guess. I don't know. If you got a guess, I I can I, I would turn my uh, answer just because I also think I can make an argument for it. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm fairly certain based on what you guys said, it's not correct. But I'm dying to know. Okay, I think I mean this sort of makes sense. Okay, okay I guess you ready? Yeah, three, two, one. I said a gift. I said knowledge. The answer is a coffin. A coffin. A 
coffin. A coffin builds it, doesn't want it, bought it, doesn't need. Well, you could bu- you could buy a coffin because you need it. Like you could pick out your coffin ahead of time, but needs <clears throat> it, doesn't know it. Because you're dead. Because you're dead. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay, so here is my my thinking. So. Who built it doesn't want it. So this is with knowledge as the answer. This is like one of those things where knowledge can be a curse. Like once you know something, you can't undo something, which can be its own like problem. If you bought knowledge, then you don't necessarily need it. This could be like, if you can have like an advisor, you know? (laughs) The bought it, not need it was like, well, I don't need it because I bought it. (laughs) (laughs) I now own it. Right, yeah. (laughs) Anything. But then need it, not know it, could be knowledge right. as well, because it would be like, right. what is the thing that, like if you don't have it, then you need it, but you don't know you need it. Right, so yeah, I thought, I, <coughs> I learned about gift, because at first I thought I was, I was like, at first when I was thinking like concepts, I was like, love. But then I was like, oh, what if it was like, like a wedding ring? Because then if you made it, you wouldn't want it because you'd want to give it to the person. Oh, that's a good one. Right, and then yeah. if you bought it, you wouldn't need it. <laughs> because it's for someone else. But then need it, not know it didn't seem to fit. But then I just sort of broadened that to just a gift. So, but then need it, not know it still doesn't fit super well. Like you just need a gift. You don't even know it. You don't even know but, that you need a gift. That's sort of the same thing. If you if you bought a gift, you don't need it. Man. <laughs> Who doesn't but, need a gift? I know, exactly. All right, well, a coffin. This is, this is me right now. <laughs> dead. RIP, dead. Yeah. See ya. <clears throat> Man. Okay, well that was very interesting. That was a good at one. At the very least. You guys did great. You you really thought hard. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Question five. To where did Helena Ravenclaw, daughter of Rowena Ravenclaw, run away after she stole her mother's diadem? Okay. Alright. It feels good to be writing with gusto. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Confidence. Yep. Hopefully this is right. <laughs> it's gotta be. Uh, yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, forest in Albania. Forest in Albania. You are correct. Yay. Okay. Fun fact about this location, though, or perhaps an unchecked fact by the author, is that we know the Hogwarts founders like founded the school like a thousand years ago. So that's also when Helena was alive. And at that time, Albania was not a country. So there wasn't a place to go. However, 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 there was a place also known as Albania, which was Scotland. <laughs> So uh, when, and that since that's where Rowena is from, it also seems like the forest in Albania, which is otherwise also like countries away, um, is actually in Scotland, which feels like it makes more sense. All right, question six, which is our second quiz master question. This question was submitted by Tara Walker, Neil G and Dola and voted on by patrons. How many professors who taught during Harry's time at Hogwarts were known Ravenclaws? Bonus points if you can name them all. Oh, this is gonna be like if there's like a like a like a vector or something. Yeah, you know? like Sinistra. Yeah, or Sinistra, like one of those two. It's like I don't know. Like, would we would we know what house they were in? Right. Um, or like bins or something like uh, you know. Because uh. these, these are maybe not necessarily known. Like the, I bet that oh, it's like one of those things where has that information been filled in for you? Right, yeah, it's like it's known even in like which which greater capacity because like right. you could even say like like there's someone who I know on my list right now I don't think is ever listed as being a Ravenclaw inside of the story, but like for like reading, yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Like reveals that information. <laughs> right. I'm like, there's gotta be at least one more that I'm forgetting or it's gonna be wrong. I'm so annoyed. Okay. Oh, I've got an answer. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. I said three. I said four. It is four. No, I oh. knew I should have just added one for safety. Um, Who was the, the fourth one? It Quirrell! is Flitwick, Quirrell, Lockhart, and Trelawney. God, I forget Quirrell. Yes! So Ben I'm gets extra so points. I'm so mad I forgot Quirrell. God. <laughs> this is so annoying. Oh, I know that. I'm surprised you got I Trelawney. No, Quirrell! Ugh. Question seven. Which Hogwarts professor was canonically a half stall and almost ended up in Ravenclaw? Ready? Yeah. Yeah, okay, ready? <laughs> Why are you looking at me all weird? I'm so mad. Three, two, one. McGonagall. McGonagall. Correct. Stupid. Coffin. 
<laughs> the coffins was making no, me mad. No, it's Quarrel. <laughs> Why'd you say coffin? Is your mind just other, like, no, other. I'm, I'm plunging in everything right now. We got it. We're going to go. Okay. Keep going. All right. In the zone. Okay. Maybe. Question eight. Our favorite line from our favorite Ravenclaw member, Gilderoy Lockhart, is of course pretty obvious. But what exactly was pretty obvious? Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, oh, my gosh. Okay. Pretty obvious. It was pretty obvious uh, what you're about to do. Okay, yeah, all right. Three, two, one. That Snape was going to use Expelliarmus. Yeah, disarming spell in Dueling Club. Yes, that is correct. Yay! Yay. Yes. I, was I like, wanted to stop you, it would have been only too easy. Pretty obvious what you're going to do. Question nine, which is our third quiz master question. This question was submitted by Law Ninja and voted on by patrons. What is painted on the ceiling of the Ravenclaw common room? On the ceiling? The ceiling? Do we know? Uh, that's a really good question, Law Ninja. Painted on the ceiling. So you're just sitting there, you're studying, you look up, you're like, oh, huh, look at that. Look at that. Right up there. There it is. I don't know. Okay. Right, ready? Three, yep. two, one. You said eagle flying. I said the whip beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. The answer is stars. Star stars. Oh man! I said I had first said the night sky. And I, I was like, that's what's in the great hall. What a what a cop out, Rowena. I know that was literally my exact same thought. I was like, the night sky, and like that was the first thing I thought of. And does that does that mean that it's nighttime at all times in the, in the Ravenclaw common room? That was the other thing that was confusing me. Yeah. So I'm just gonna have to go check. Right, you're gonna go. Yeah, I'm going. Know. I'm going right now. Okay. I'll be there. Yep. Going to. Scotland. Hello and welcome everybody to the scenic route where we have a beautiful day so we're back on the roof for me to tell you about today's sponsor Rocket Money. Okay if I were to ask you how many monthly subscriptions you have and how much you're paying each month would you be able to tell me because before using Rocket Money myself I had absolutely no idea how much money I was wasting every single month. But of course no offense to any of those brands obviously I mean it's like you're great it's not you it's it's me. It's my half-hearted attempt to like valentinesify today's ad read, but if it's after the 14th, please just disregard. Either way, Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. And personally, this was huge for me personally, because ever since becoming an adult, I have been a massive subscription junkie. So I had them set up for everything and had no idea how much I was spending on razors and soap and air filters and streaming services services and password managers. But that's where Rocket Money comes in. They have over 5 million users and on average save those users up to $720 per year, saving over $500 million in unwanted subscriptions. So stop wasting money on subscription services that you're not using, like multiple password managers, and start saving money by heading on over to rocketmoney.com slash J versus B. Again, that's going to be Rocket Money com slash J versus B. One last time, rocketmoney.com slash J versus B. Link in the description down below. And now guys, welcome back to the scenic table where I bet you didn't factor in that I'd be wearing a different shirt. But you know what? Sometimes it's just a matter of convenience, just like today's sponsor, Factor. And look, you guys, it is February season when I was born. Don't want to brag or anything, but it does make me think of love languages. And for me personally, I am huge on gift giving, acts of service, and heck, even quality time. And somehow I think whether it's for yourself or for a loved one, Factor can tick all three boxes. Tell me more, you say? Well, I'd be glad to. See, you can gift yourself or a loved one the fabulous gift of ready-to-eat meals straight to the old doorstep. The active service is providing the restaurant-quality meals that are ready to eat whenever. Okay, fine, possibly that's a stretch since someone else, namely a chef, made it, so maybe you didn't perform the active service, not exactly your doing, but I guess the active service can be, you know, putting it in the microwave where it only takes two minutes before it's ready to eat. 
boom, then there is that sweet, sweet quality time you are gaining by not having to shop and cook and clean up a big mess. So you have so much more time to curl up with a good book or a movie. You see what I mean? So just treat yourself or a loved one to factor and win this February. Plus guys, it's just super flexible for your schedule. I mean, you can get as much or as little as you need by choosing anywhere from six to 18 meals per week. Plus you can, you know, pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. It is really so easy and so convenient. So just head over to factormeals.com slash JVersB50 and use code JVersB50 to get 50% off. That is code JVersB50 at factormeals.com slash JVersB50 to get 50% off. Link is in the description down below. Turns out it totally is the nice guy. Wow, it must be really confusing when it's like the middle of the day and you look outside with the blue sky and then you look up and you're like, wait, 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 a wait, second. wait, is it night or day? Is right. it night or day? Is it night or day? Maybe and they're like, you're like... in Ravenclaw. You should be smart enough to figure it out. It's probably those like glow stars that you put in like kids rooms that oh. like glow on the ceiling. Yes, the glow stars. We had those, but I never felt like they were like, like spaced properly. To, I know. You know, it was always yeah. like, it was like we like put them on the wall like this. Yeah. I remember, yeah, getting yeah, them, no, like, thinking they were su super cool, putting them on the wall and then like going to my friend's house who like super did it properly and had like a hundred more and it was like over their whole ceiling and I was like, oh, I totally messed up. <laughs> it's like, I, this is embarrassing. Why don't like, we... No one knows about the about my failure, but I sure do. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why, why don't we have a ladder in our bedroom that we I can know. use to put stars all over the ceiling? Who <laughs> put all those stars up there? Yeah. Clearly parental help. Right. Meanwhile, mom just let us put it on top of the wallpaper like idiots. <laughs> The, the striped wallpaper, do you remember it? I, oh, I, because they didn't, there were some spots where they had to connect. Yeah. And like it didn't, it line wasn't quite up, perfect. And it was like, oh no. Too bad, so sad. Too bad, so sad. Oh, well. At least we covered it up with the blowing stars. And then you there. moved out and left me all by myself. That's right. Yeah. Thanks for that. Not by yourself with Tyler. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I wasn't totally alone. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Carry forward. All right, question 10. What was the shape of Cho Chang's corporeal patronus? Got it. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fairly certain. Yeah. One, two, three. Swan! A swan. It is a swan. <laughs> Did you just go, who was that? The Adam Stanler kid? Billy Madison? Billy Madison. Yeah. yeah. Stop staring at me, swan. swan. Yes, I did. Okay, nice. Yeah. Stop looking at me, swan. If anyone was a Ravenclaw. <laughs> Billy Madison. <laughs> okay, question 11. How old was Luna Lovegood when her mother died? <sighs> the secrecy of Jay's iPad. It's don't like... look at my, don't look at my answer because I'm mostly guessing. <laughs> so don't look at my problems <laughs> at my random guess. Uh, All right, ready? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Twa. I said seven. It's nine. Nine! Oh, oh that's so much worse. That is, I don't know. They're never really a good yeah. time for your mom to die, I guess. Yeah, no, that's, uh. <laughs> it's not like a, not a preferred age. That's the theory though, is that Luna's mom was a maledictus and that she was going to turn into a wolf, like permanently, similar to how Nagini was a woman who was a malediction and became a snake. And the reason she died is because she was doing experimental charms to try and, uh, Save. Save herself, but ended up not working. So, uh, because it's like a genetic thing, that means Luna might also be eventually turning into a wolf. Yeah. That's our theory. And that's, that's a, the other part of it is that like her name, Luna, means moon, and which is like what triggers and werewolves. She, and she marries Newt's commander's yeah. grandson, whose name is Rolf. Rolf. <laughs> and then their kids are Lorkin and like Lysander or something, yes. which are like very werewolf names too. So it's like, there's a lot of wolf stuff happening around Luna. A lot of wolf imagery. A lot of wolf yeah. imagery. So uh, that girl's becoming a wolf, no doubt. All right, question 12, our fourth Quizmaster question. This question was submitted by Nathan Miracle and voted on by patrons. Who did Voldemort kill to make Ravenclaw's diadem a horcrux? Oh goodness. Oh goodness. This is a tricky one because I can't eat. I don't think I can remember the word. Oh, uh, I think. Think. This is one of those where there's like such a huge piece of like the, the overall plot is that like he reserved like the deaths for the creation of Horcrux to like very specific right. um, circumstances. Like, right. like specific kills. Cause it's not like he, I mean, he killed like lots of people. So it's yes. not like, it's not 
you know, like he needed to like, like, oh, okay, I need to make the, kind of make the best of this particular situation. Um, and this answer, if I'm correct, is, it does not follow that trend. Right? Because yeah, some of them are like, well, these don't seem important. They don't seem important. Right. But then there's some there's, theorization to be done about right, like, like, why are they important? Why are they important? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, I'm going to go with my original answer. I'm going to put an X over this. Are you ready? I guess so. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. I just said a vagrant. I said an old hag. An old hag. The answer is an Albanian peasant. An Albanian peasant. Sure it was. An Albanian peasant? Okay. If you say so. I swear, the other I had was like a muggle tramp or something? A muggle tramp. Tramp was the word I could not think of. Yeah. Uh, a muggle tramp. But... Which I th I I can't I can't remember. That's what I was aiming for. <laughs> Man, a vagrant. A vagrant. Sure. <laughs> you know. It's like a British word. All of these feel like words you should not use to describe people. Yeah. Would be my my general philosophy. Well. Question thirteen. What is Moaning Myrtle's full name? So know this. Yeah. First, middle, last. Oh my god! It gosh. just flitted in my brain. Oh no! I know. It, it was so just there. Oh, I just did it again. Crap. <laughs> oh, it's like it's there. I'll it's there. <laughs> it's. I can't. Okay, I think I've got. I think I do remember it. Maybe this is my chance to clog back in. It could be because I I <laughs> clog like... like a toilet. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's vernal. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awful. Uh, okay. I don't have three names written down. Oh, no. I have two and only one of them is right, which is in the question. <laughs> Mo, first name Moaning. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. All right. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> three, two, one. Said Myrtle Elizabeth Warren. Oh, Warren, I put Wallen. <laughs> oh no, Wallen! I was like, and I had Gladys in the middle. Myrtle Gladys Wallen. <laughs> you are correct, Jay. Yes! Oh, oh man. boy, all right. Yeah, but Ethan, I was dying because when we told you the right answer, you were like, <laughs> like the politician. I can't believe her name was Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, there would be so many memes. We had to come up with like a bunch of fake ones. And Ethan thought that the real one was fake because of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, question 14. What was the main feature of the spectacular view out of the arched windows in the Ravenclaw common room? What was the view? Yes. What was the, the view? The view the from spectacular the... view. But the like, spectacular. it's a circular room, right? Like... It still has windows. But, but, they, but the views would be different depending on which one you look out. <laughs> well, it depends on how many windows there are. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like the worst and worst common room. Like the most stairs, you got to answer a riddle. You walk in in the middle of the day, it's nighttime always. always. There's one window. There's one. There's one. <laughs> which hazard. looks out at a magnificent view of... A spectacular. A spectacular view of that. Okay. I mean, it specifically says out of the arched windows, so maybe there's some square ones that the view is less spectacular. Yeah. Maybe that <laughs> Rowan is like, I don't want a lot of light in here because it's gonna ruin my like star. Yeah, I, I've got like, like I've got like a whole nighttime got, like, vibe. A whole nighttime thing. vibe. There's I get like, I'll give you a window for fire safety. But, right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. But that's jump it. out of the <laughs> jump out. Of the <laughs> that's right. And if you need to get out of it because the the castle's on fire. Look, you're already stuck in this tower. So. Right, right. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Stop the lake. It is the surrounding mountains. Sure. Why not? I bet. I mean, it's like, you but, know, but I feel like you, can't you could see. probably see. I bet you could see some of the I bet the you lake. can see the lake <laughs> from that tower. The tallest <laughs> tower can't see the lake right next to the castle. Ridiculous. What if Ridiculous. it's on the other side of the castle? I mean, it's what? not like we're not unaware. It's the tallest tower. The lake is huge. Okay, what were the it other? It specifically says like you saw a spectacular view of the surrounding. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's yeah, that's fine. I, I, what are the other ants of the other possible ants? I'm wondering if multiple choice, I would have gotten it correct. Um, we put down the Quidditch pitch, the Forbidden Forest, the surrounding mountains, and Hogsmeade. Okay, those are good. Those are good. 
Harry's not very observant. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was looking he for the diadem at that moment. Saw on his periphery, was he, like, oh, mountains, cool. Spectacular. Yeah. He was probably so distracted by the ceiling. <laughs> all right, all right, anyway, so. Or by the death like his leaders. impending death. Or yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were under attack. It was night. How could he have even seen out the window? Well, <sighs> the stars clearly were glowing. It clearly wasn't lit in the common room either. Yeah, it was pretty boring. Not lit at all. Yeah, for all for all Harry knows, the lake was out there. Hey, I've never thought that high, that guy had very good sense of direction. <laughs> yeah, He's in there at night, in the middle of a war. Put us out of our misery. <clears throat> all right, question 15, our fifth Quizmaster question. This question was submitted by Travis Peacock and voted on by patrons. What did Ravenclaw alum Ignatia Wildsmith invent? Nope. Somehow I didn't pre-read that question and I was like panicking. Like, how do I say this? <laughs> no, I almost made a huge whoopsie. A huge whoopsies. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, have, I have an answer. I got an answer. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Flu powder. Flu powder. It is flu powder. Bahooya. Woohoo! I wrote down, I was like, got it, fiend fire, and then I read it and I was like, that's not what was in my brain. <laughs> I, wrote, I thought flu powder, wrote down fiend fire, and I almost was just like. I also think that it was maybe to your benefit that you pronounce it this way, but it's I think it's Ignatia. Ah. Like ignite. Ignite. Yeah. That makes like sense. fire. Yes, yes indeed. But that's okay. We got it either way. We got so. it. <clears throat> well done, team. Does that mean, do we tie again? No, Ben, you won. I won? Because you, won. See, because you got an extra point for- For Coral? All four, yeah. Yes! Uh, First oh my gosh. actual win of wow. the year. On a bonus point. Oh my gosh. Man. Finally. There it is. The leaderboard has changed on mm. the annual challenge. By one point. By one point. By We're one still point. in this. Yeah, yeah we'll J see. J-Fan, we we'll got see. it. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, actually, okay. you might as well not do anything else because clearly Ben's gonna win now. Jay has no chance. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah, twenty-two more quizzes. Yeah, right. We got, right. Come on, guys. We're still I think, I think I was up by like eight last year at some <laughs> yeah. point in time and managed to completely fall back down that tower. So here we go. Anyway, well, guys, thank you so much as ever for tuning in, playing alongside with us. Let us know how you did in the towel section down below. And now we need to give a huge thank you to our quiz masters who support us over on Patreon. Yeah, huge shout out to Travis Peacock, Dola, Tara Walker, Neil G, Law Ninja, and Nathan Miracle. If you too would like to try to stump us on a future episode of J versus Ben, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and selecting the quiz masters tier. Coffin. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to go check out our fluffiest Hufflepuff quiz ever, you can check out this video right here. But otherwise, until next time, bye!